today we are making the perfect bloomers i love this pattern because it is so basic but it goes with everything make it for a boy or a girl and use any material that you want but i recommend cotton woven if you are starting out to start out line up your pattern pieces on the fabric Make sure that your fabric is on the fold when you are cutting out both your front and your back piece. When you're finished cutting, you'll have the front and back piece, waistband elastic, and two leg elastics. Go ahead and iron, and you're ready to go. Lay the back bloomer piece right side up and place the front bloomer piece on top of it right sides together. You're going to stitch a straight stitch down both sides. To finish the seams, you can use pinking shears to cut close to your stitches, or if you have access to a serger, you can use that. Now with your pinking shears, cut around the leg openings or serge this area on both sides. Fold this edge up by half an inch all the way around this leg opening. Iron it and then pin it in place. This is going to create the channel for the leg elastic to go through. Use a straight stitch to sew right along that edge all the way around the leg opening. Repeat for the leg opening on the other side. Using a bodkin or a safety pin, thread the leg elastic onto it and then push the bodkin through the channel of the leg opening. It's really important to keep the tail end of the elastic out of the fabric, so when you notice that it's getting close to the end of the opening, go ahead and pinch it in place there, and then sew a straight stitch to hold it in place. You'll want to sew across this area several times back stitching so that it is firm there. Then go to the other end of the opening and you can remove your bodkin or use that to hold the elastic in place there while you secure the elastic at that opening. Use scissors to trim off any elastic that is sticking over the edge and then repeat for the other leg opening. Take the two base pieces and line them up so that they completely match. Sew a straight stitch across their back stitching and even if you are serging, go ahead and do a straight stitch there on top of the serge just because this area receives a lot of stress so it's important for it to be secure. For the waistband, while the bloomers are still inside out, turn the top edge over by a quarter inch and iron it in place, and then fold it over again by three quarters of an inch and iron and pin it in place. This is going to create the channel for the waistband elastic to go through. Use a straight stitch going around this edge, staying really close to the edge that was folded under and back stitch at the beginning and end but leave a two inch gap opening because that's what we're going to use to thread the elastic through. Thread the waistband elastic onto the bodkin and then begin to push it through the gap opening all the way around the waistband channel. And again, keep the tail end of the elastic out the whole time and just bunch up the fabric as it goes through. You will overlap the two ends by half an inch 
and then sew them securely in place going over this area several times to make sure that it's completely secure and then tuck it back into the channel and use a straight stitch to close up that gap. Shift the gathers around to readjust them and make sure that they're even all the way around. I like to hold on to the two side seams and pull them as far apart as I can, which kind of resets the gathers. And then sew a stitch in the ditch line right at, the, at both seams just across the waistband. And that helps keep the waistband in place and from flipping over. Do this at both side seams. Congratulations, you are all done. I love how quick and easy this pattern comes together and it does look great with our perfect tee pattern.